In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings to all of you from our King, the Señor Santo Nino, in whose name we gather here as God's family. May His protection be always with you. My dear brothers and sisters, we have come here in the name of Jesus, whose childhood we venerate in the image of the Señor Santo Nino, brought centuries ago to our shores and given to our forebears as a sign of divine protection and as a symbol of faith received in baptism. Knowing that we are all children of God by our baptism, let us now reflect for a moment on our dignity as Christians. Thanking the Lord for the gift of faith, and let us call to mind with sorrow in our hearts the times we have been disobedient to our Father in heaven. And so we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard on the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Say glory, the Lord is in trouble. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. This is what he proclaimed One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Mayong gabi ka na itong tanan. Um, sa ngalan sa mga kaparian nga Agustino, tuguti ko nga mo welcome ninyong tanan, ining inyong pagsalmot sa atong Misa, Nobena. Uh, nining nagpadayon na ito nga pangandam alang sa tinuig, nga pangilin, alang sa Pista Senyor. O nga nga itong special welcome, of course, is given to the priest concelebrants here at the altar. And we would like to recognize uh, the presence of the priests from the Brothers of St. John community who are here for a special meeting. We have some priests coming from Thailand, Taiwan, New Zealand, and other nearby places in Asia. And of course, we'd like to welcome their newly elected Vice Provincial in the person of uh, Father Justin, who is here with us at the altar. Pasailo ako nga mag-iningliste ka ron. Kinitungod kayo doon natin mga bisita nga lang yaw, dili lang sa mga kaparian. Kung dili tungod po kay Daghan, na naakuban ka ninyo karon gikan na sa lain nga bahin sa nasod, nga nagsugod na pag-abot-abot tungod kay nagkaduol na ang piyesta senior. So, magdisod man tingali sila pagsabot sa binisaya. I have recently read a historical article detailing some significant moments in the history of Spain and have come to this idea that by the 8th century, the Moors have successfully invaded much of Spain. And by 1711, in a particular town close to Madrid, within the suburbs of Madrid, a town called Atsua, I think, Christians were particularly persecuted, and the leading men of the town were imprisoned by their Moorish rulers and were kept away from their family and were given without provision and were left to languish and possibly die out of hunger and thirst in their prison cells. The only visitors allowed were, will have to be somebody under 12 years of age. And for those who are with children, this was short of giving them the death sentence because no one would be able to come and bring them some little provisions to sustain them during this difficult uh, moment. And the people of the village began to pray to Our Lady, and they begged for her special intercession. And soon enough, their prayers were answered in the form of a child who arrived in town without anyone knowing where he came from. And he started visiting these prisoners, especially those who are without families, and began to provide for their needs, so much so that most of his prisoners, if not all of them, survived at the end of this invasion. This invasion of the Moors in Spain was not just a political occupation of the land, it was also, of course, a direct clash against the Christian faith. And so when this mysterious child began to visit and provide uh, food to those in prison, everyone came to the conclusion that 
this was no ordinary child, that this was the child Jesus himself sent by Our Lady. After all, she is the mother of this child. And this suspicion was confirmed when they realized that at the altar where the image of Our Lady stands, carrying in her arms the baby Jesus, the baby Jesus was wearing dusty, covered shoes or boots, and they were already worn out from much walking around the area to visit these prisoners. So much so that the women in the village had to change these boots regularly until all of these prisoners were set free and Spain was again freed from uh, their invaders. This perhaps marked the beginning of the popularity of the devotion in Spain addressed to the Holy Child Jesus. And soon, the devotion became a standalone devotion with an image of our Lord depicted uh, as a child with his hands raised in a form of a blessing, his fingers in a manner that suggests or positioned in a manner that suggests the gesture of peace, that this child comes to bring with him the blessings of peace. Around the time when our country was discovered by our Spanish colonizers, and when Magellan came to our shores and through him the first baptism took place in the land, in a place not very far from where we are, and with that came also the gift of the Senor Santo Nino that was given to the Queen of Cebu, we realize, of course, that we have received our devotion to the Holy Child Jesus, to the Senor Santo Nino de Cebu from Spain. And around this time, um, it has become so popular in the 1500s that even one of the most prominent saints of the Reformation years in Spain, in the person of St. Teresa de Avila, was said to be particularly devoted to the Holy Child Jesus. So much so that when she would open a reformed monastery for the Carmelite order, she would always bring with her a statue or an image of the infant Jesus. And the reason for this particular devotion was due to the fact that at one point in her life, as she was trying to master the art of prayer, as she was trying to go deeper into her prayer life, there was this mysterious apparition of a beautiful child uh, appearing to her at the staircase of the convent where she was staying. And so this child spoke to her and asked for her name, to which she answered, my name is Teresa of Jesus. And the child smiled back and said, my name also is the Jesus of Teresa. And that explains how this relationship with the child Jesus began, particularly in the life of St. Teresa de Avila, which actually also uh, supported and continued to sustain the popular devotion in Spain to the child Jesus. And Spain introduced the devotion to Mexico when it colonized Mexico and from Mexico to our land. But what we do learn from the experience of Teresa de Avila and the child Jesus is that there is something that is unique in our relationship with Jesus depicted as a child, it shows a certain familiarity, a certain tenderness that makes the relationship deeply personal. Tonight, we have another opportunity, of course, to reflect on the theme for this year's Fiesta celebration. And as it is stated, the theme goes, Santo Nino, our source of peace in the walk of faith. Allow me tonight to very briefly bring us to a reflection of this same theme that we have been reflecting on for the past several days from a purely biblical perspective, although by no means am I an expert in scriptures. It is said that in the Old Testament alone, the word peace appears 237 times, and that is quite a lot. And the Hebrew word for peace, of course, is shalom. And it is said, according to the scholars, that it's it is a deriva derivative word from another Hebrew word, which is shalom. Shalom is a word that suggests some kind of putting into, of bringing into wholeness something that has not been, something that may have been broken or something that may have been deficient. Its original usage was to signify the need to make amends for something. And so in the book of Exodus, in chapter 22, verse 4, we see how the Lord legislated that if anybody is found guilty of stealing an ox or an animal from a neighbor, he has to restore what he had stolen. He has to practice shalom. 
And therefore, in time, the word shalom, which is a derivative from shalom, meant well-being, wholeness of a person's life. So that when it appears for the first time in Genesis chapter 15, verse 15, the word peace is used in the context of a person being buried in peace in the ways of his fathers because he has succeeded in reaching the ripe, the ripe old age of his forebears. In short, it is almost like saying peace comes to a person who has lived a full life, a full life filled with joy, happiness, prosperity, blessing, and some kind of wholeness. And in the New Testament, surprisingly, it again appears several times, about 91 times. But it, what is unique about the appearance of the word peace in the New Testament is that it is found in every book of the New Testament except in the first letter to John. And this time, the Greek word, since the New Testament is written in Greek, is the word for peace is irene, which is supposed to be a der derivative from the Greek word airo. Again, it suggests binding together into a unity to form a whole or to make whole. And this is where we got our English word serenity from. When we speak of serenity, there is some kind of some kind of wholeness again that is experienced inwardly. But of course in the scriptures, it is more than just well-being. It is more just than a feeling of serenity. In fact, we have been reminded often times in the gospel that there is a peace that only God can give that the world cannot give to us. When we speak of the theme that we are here to reflect on the Santo Nino as the source of our peace in our walk of faith, this is not a theme that is foreign to our life's experience. We have been exercising this every day and every time we are here in church for the past several years. If we take a look at the, the specific uh, instances, or quick survey of that at least, in which the word peace appears in the, in, the, in the scriptures, both in the Old and in the New Testament, we see a reflection of our own actuations now. For instance, in the book of Judges, chapter 18, verse 6, there is reference to peace as something connected with God giving approval to your plan in life, that the Lord has blessed your chosen path in life. And don't we all come to this chapel, to this church, to pray for God's blessing in whatever endeavors we're starting, whether it be at work or starting a family, and so on and so forth. In the book of Samuel, chapter 1, verse 17, there is the reference to Hannah praying before the priest in the temple, and the priest Eli assured him that God has heard her prayers, and there is peace when prayers are answered. Don't we come here seeking the same thing, of being heard for whatever concerns we carry inwardly, or whatever quiet desperations our lives have turned out to be, we come with prayers begging for mercy and kindness from the Lord. And of course, when we go to the scriptures in the New Testament, uh, peace in Matthew chapter 10, verse 13, where the word appears for the first time uh, in the New Testament, there is reference to peace as something that is given as a gift to one's home, to the setting of a family life, where it is worthily received by those who have been given by it or given it. And then in St. Luke, of course, Chapter 8, verse 48, there is reference to peace as something that we experience when God heals us of something painful in our lives, of something that has caused illness in us or disease in us. And I was recently came across another article published by CDN back in 2014, a story about a young uh, girl uh, named Gillian who was born with some kind of a congenital a defect in her heart. It seemed to have a little hole in it and that it needed to be addressed by surgery. And for the six months, she had been in and out of the hospital in her hometown in Eastern Samar. And she was to be operated upon here in Cebu. And two days before the operation, the parents brought her to the image of the Santo Nino. And when she was brought to the hospital here in Cebu and had her final checkup, it was discovered that the hole had healed itself and there was no more need for surgery. 
And this girl comes until now to visit the image of Rosanto Nino with her parents to thank the Lord for this miraculous intervention. Or another article which was written about a boy named Ethan. He was just an infant at the time. The father is from Cebu, the mother is from outside Cebu. She could not understand why this devotion to the Santo Nino among us, especially. And when this infant was born with a defect in, her, in his intestines that did not allow him uh, to dispel his, uh, his stool and was suffering much pain and could be uh, experiencing blood poisoning because of all these things happening to his body, the mother wrote a 10-page letter as she knelt before the image of the Santo Nino. And we will never forget what she wrote in those 10 pages because it included these words, Nangalyupo ko kanimo nga kung maapil pa lang na ko akong luha sa akong suwat, akong iapil. And she was praying for guidance. And true enough, she found the right doctors to help her son, even if the infant was at risk of not surviving the surgery because of the anesthesia. And he's now a grown-up boy, and we are told, according to this article. So we have had in our own lives experiences of this peace that the scripture speaks of, which in the New Testament is prominently told to us, can only come from God, so much so that at Mass we greet each other with the peace of our Lord be with you. And this is also the famous greetings found in many of the letters of St. Paul. Peace and grace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, or as it is beautifully uh, put in the book of Revelation, grace and peace from Him who is, who always was, and who is still to come. It signifies that this peace is something stable. It is, in fact, eternal. So what is it that we bring home with us as we leave this Novena Mass tonight? We are encouraged to find our peace in Christ because it is Christ who completes us. And by saying that, we mean that in Christ, we are assured that God is with us to provide for every need because He is an all-seeing God who never lose sight of us so that when we go through whatever difficulties there may be, we must be assured of that peace. And as the Psalms beautifully put it, we can sleep better at night knowing that we have put our trust in the Lord. This peace only also is not meant only to address our temporal needs while we are here on this earth. It also signifies something deeper, something more interior, not just feelings of peace and serenity, but an interiority that comes from our being reconciled with God, for having been forgiven of our sins, of having been called to constant conversion, of having experienced the grace that allows us to participate in the holiness of our God. When we come to these days of the Novena, we must consider examining our lives. We must consider if we do have a need to seek that reconciliation with God, especially in the sacrament of penance. And this would be a good time to go to confession, actually. And thirdly, since peace is not just an intern, is not just a personal possession of us, but it is meant to be shared, there is a beautiful narrative that is told about the particular devotion of the child Jesus in Prague, the infant Jesus of Prague, where it was said to have been destroyed by war, and when the image was recovered, it was missing some hands and feet, and there was a vision given to the priest who discovered it. He said, I will bless those who will provide me with hands, and those who will provide me with feet. Meaning, if we also work for the well-being of others, if we supply in what in their wants, if we also help complete what is lacking in their lives and set right what is wrong with their lives, we will experience the same peace that we experience in our personal encounter with the Santo Nino. And then if we can also address issues of justice, issues of whatever is wrong socially in the structures of our society, then there is also peace that comes from the Santo Nino. So to all of us who are here, not just this year that have always been here, may we continue to experience the peace of God in the Santo Nino as we continue our walk in faith. Amen.
On this day, the heavens were opened as the Spirit descended upon Christ at his baptism, and so the fountain of his blessings descends upon the world. We offer now to the Señor Santo Niño de Cebu all our prayer intentions for this Novena Mass, and let us pray to the Lord, saying, Señor Santo Niño received our petition. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons be filled with the Holy Spirit so that joy and strength may descend upon them when they feel they are short in faith, in moral ascendancy, and even in basic necessities. Let us pray to the Lord. May civil and political leaders discern what is truly beneficial for our people, and may they be given the determination to do it. Let us pray to the Lord. May the poor, the sick, the jobless, and the marginalized experience liberation and support from their communities and loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. May married couples and those preparing for marriage draw from you the wisdom, patience, and strength necessary to make their marriage a reflection of your love and joy for your people. Let us pray to the Lord. That you may deem it worthy and beneficial to us that two Philokamumut, venerable, be raised to the altar of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. We lift to the Lord all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Señor Santo Niño. Let us pray to the Lord. Señor Santo Niño, we pray for peace in our country and in the whole world. Let us pray to the Lord. that the dead may see hope and comfort in the resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, by our baptism, you adopted us as your sons and daughters. Hear our prayers through that favor which rests on your beloved Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Ang matahumong larawan Sa unang mga misyonero Sa usang balay hipalgan 
kanila ikaw nagpakita. Kikanda sa imong gugma. Sa imong gugma. Tara. Kanda. Ikaw gisimba Ni atong mga kaparian Sa tanang na katawan Sa mga punuan nila Kay sa pagtanaw ka ni mo Kay sa pagtanaw ka Kristiyano sila lahi mo. Kristiyano sila lahi mo. Tanan, kanan, Simbahan kipatindo, ang simbahan kipatindo. Ni atung mga tauhana, ni atung mga tauhana. Arun ang larawan ni mo, dun ay usang puno yanan. Utip to gihangyo nila. Nga kaluyan ni mo sila Sa sunod sa kalag na mo Makahimong puno'y anan Kay sa tanang kinahanglan Ikaw ang among dalang Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of the faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of Him who willed in His compassion to wash away the sins of the world who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that come down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. 
And so with the prayer, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Lord, Almighty Lord, Father, Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that in freedom and justice our society may prosper and serve you better as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our King, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ give us safe for eternal life, the body of Christ. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Paliyog ang buwap ang magkakalawat, itaas ang ato mga kamot, karon makita sa mga pariyong ministers. Atong gihang nyo ang anaas at ubangan padung sa mga lay ministers sa mga pari. Atong tagag higayon ang naas at tunga-tunga sa 
sa left of side portion sa atong quadrangle nga makakalawa. Ministers, kung pwede, makasood ta sa tunga. Sa right side. Dahan salamat. Let us pray. Nourish with the sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray together the prayer to the Señor Santo Niño. O my, my dear Jesus, Jesus, you are our King, King and our God. Because, because of your love God, for us, you came, came down from, from heaven, heaven born of the Virgin Mary. My heart weeps for in spite of your goodness, we have committed many sins. Forgive us, O Jesus, for our sin and ingratitude in return for your goodness. Strengthen our will to resist temptation and sin. And with your grace, we will be able to fulfill our promises and share with your glory in heaven. O Holy Child Jesus, who is ever good and loving, we kneel before you, our true God. With humility, we implore you to give us your mercy and grant us all the favors we ask of you in this novena, so that we will enjoy the blessings of heaven. Amen. Fifth day petition. O merciful Jesus, you have said that there will be more rejoicing in heaven for one sinner who repents than over 99 who just doesn't need repentance. We beseech you to grant us the grace of repentance for our sins and live for you in your holy name. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, let us ask in your son to Nino to hear our prayers and grant our petitions in this Eucharistic celebration. O oh, sweet, merciful Jesus, in your Santo Nino, the source of all goodness, we kneel before your sacred image imploring your divine aid for universal peace and brotherhood among all men and women. 
Enlighten the unbelievers and the heathens so that they will believe you as their true God. Restore the faith of those who have wandered away from you. Bring them back to your fold with repentance in their hearts. Grant also to the faithful departed in purgatory the remission of all their sins so that they will rest in peace forever. And finally, nourish and strengthen our faith in you so that we will serve you faithfully on earth. Amen. Palihug mang lingkod ang may kalingkuran. Sa dili pa ang katapusang panalangin, doon na kita ay mga pahibalo pasalamat. Una, palihog, bintinahaw na to ang kalimpyo sa Basilika, Pelgrim Center o sa palibot na ini sa Tanang Higayon. Ikaduha, ang ato mga payong para kini sa uwan o init lamang busa, palihog ayaw kini lingkuri. O ibalik na to kini sa butanganan inig kahuman sa paggamit. Ikatulo, ang atong main entrance dito sa gates at tubangan sa Magellan's Cross alang sa General Public. Ang entrance alang sa mga senior citizens, PWDs o mga MAPDOs, mao ang P. Borgos Gate sa liyong bahin sa Pilgrim Center. Alang sa pagawas, gamito na to ang tanang exit gates sa May Osmeña Boulevard. Ikaupat ang dagkutanan sa kandila panahon sa nobinaryo sa Fiesta Senior, gipahimutang dito sa Colio del Santo Nino School Grounds. Huwag ang iyang agianan at sa gate sa my corner, Magalianes Street o D. Jacuzzolan Street. Ikalima ang mubisita o muyukbo sa original nga imahin sa Senior Santo Nino dito sa iyang shrine. At to kita muagi sa pagsulod sa gate sa may D. Jacuzzolan sa Luyong Bahin sa Kulihiyo o sa Basilika. Ikaw na, no, sa pagpanggawas, hinahinay o magpasensyahay lang o huwag tokmuray. Uban sa pagbantay sa ato mga pitaka o mga bag harong kinidili mawani. Ikapito, human sa final blessing is a final song ng atong novena mas karon. Himo na to ang mubo ng traditional religious sinulog. Panguluhan sa atong mass presider o mga kaparian. Apil lang takining tanan. Isip atong halad sa atong mga petisyon o pasalamat ng ato sa atong mahal ng Senior Santo Nino. O ning tungura, sa ngalan sa tanang kapariang Agustino din sa Basilica Minori del Santo Nino de Cebu. Pinanguluhan sa ilang rektor, Reverend Father Nelson Zerda, OSA, malipayong mutunol sa ilang mainiton o kinasing-kasing pasalamat ngadto sa tanang nakatampo sa kalampusan sa atong alas city sa gabi ng Misa Novina ni ikalimang adlaw sa nobinaryo sa kapistahan sa atong mahal ng Senior Santo Nino. Unang ngadto sa Mass of Purgive Sponsors the Praying Communities, the Florist of the Day, the CMC Grand Choir, sa tanang volunteers o mga tanang devoto sa Senior Santo Nino na mitambong karon sa kanila o kanatong tanan masipang pakpakpas salam. Pasalamatan o sabi nato ang mga paring mukun celebrar ni atong misa karon ato silang tagaan sa masipang pakpak. Huwag nga ito usag sa atong mass presider o homilist na siya mao ang rector sa San Carlos Seminary College of the Asdiocese of Cebu, Reverend Monsignor Joseph C. Tan P.C. Laing masipang pakpakpas salam. Huwag labaw sa tanan nga ito sa atong ipasidunggan ng atong selebrasyon karon atong ginoong na batang iso si Senior Santo Nino Ato siyang daigon sa pinakamasipang papa. Viva Pit Simeon! Viva Senor Santo Nino! Viva Pit Simeon! Laing pinakamasipang papa. Dagang salamat o palihog manindog ang tanan. Katong dunay gibitbit ng mga religious articles, palihog ibayaw para atong panalanginan. The blessing of the religious articles, let us pray. God, by whose word all things are made holy, pour out your blessing on these religious articles and grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and with your law 
and with the spirit of thanksgiving may experience by your power health in body, protection in soul, as they invoke your most holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Señor Santo Niño protect and bless our country with the abundance of His grace. Amen. May He guide our leaders in the path of justice and of peace. Amen. May He bless His church and her endeavors. Amen. May He inspire our youth and protect our children. Amen. May He bind us to one another with His love. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and practice your faith, mindful that a good Christian makes a better citizen. Thanks be to God. Viva Señor Santo Niño! Viva Señor Santo Niño! Viva Señor! Viva Señor Santo Niño! Viva! Señor, ikaw ay ang kamon. Señor, tantanan at Señor, magangkutan na magsinulot. Kitantanan at Señor, kitantanan. Señor, oh Señor, kitantanan at Señor. Señor, oh Señor. Kitang tanan magpit Senyor. Pit Senyor, pasay lua kami. Pit Senyor! Senyor, tabangi kami. Pit Senyor! Senyor, panalipdi kami. Pit Senyor! Senyor, so Ukraine, Russia kini. Pit Senyor! Senyor, kalinaw sa kalibutan kini. Pit Senyor! Senyor, kalinaw sa pamilya kini. Pit Senyor! Senyor, oh, pit Senyor, kitang tanan magpit Senyor. Pit Senyor, oh, pit Senyor, kitang tanan magpit Senyor, pit Senyor sa Subo kini. Pit Senyor, Senyor sa Pilipinas kini. Pit Senyor, atung pagampu kitang tanan magsinulog. Isang pita atung pagampu kitang tanan pit Senyor. Bayaw ang kamo, pit Senyor, oh pit Senyor. Kitang tanan magkisinyor, kisinyor, oh kisinyor, kitang tanan magkisinyor, kisinyor sa simbahan kini, kisinyor, kisinyor sa mga parig madre kini, kisinyor, kisinyor sa sinenarista kini, kisinyor, kisinyor daghang bukasyon kini, kisinyor. Senyor sa church workers kini. Pit Senyor! Senyor sa mga volunteers kini. Pit Senyor! Senyor, oh Pit Senyor, Tantanan at Pit Senyor. Pit Senyor, oh Pit Senyor, Tantanan at Pit Senyor. Pit Senyor sa katekista kini. Pit Senyor! Senyor ang inag... Bana kini, pichinyo. Siyo na ngita ng pangasaw unang kini, pichinyo. Siyo sa ngita ng forever kini, pichinyo. Siyo sa wife forever kini, pichinyo. Siyo sa Martis o Marisol kini, pichinyo. Siyo, oh siyo, kita ng tanan ng siyo, siyo. Senyor, kitang tanan magkisinyor. Senyor, giantos nga sakit kini. Senyor, senyor giantos ng kalisut kini. Senyor, senyor si paningkamutan kini. Senyor, senyor sa mga plano kini. Senyor, senyor sa OFW kini. Senyor, senyor sa tanang kabayan kini. Senyor, oh, Pit Senyor, 
Dagang salamat, umayong gabi, kanatong tanan.